The Garden Beyond is a dramatised portrayal of the life of the bedridden poet William Souter, uh, born 1898, died 1943. Our film was made way back in 1977, and I'm proud to say it was the first independently produced Scottish film to be networked on BBC One. The film was written and produced by myself and directed by the late Brian Crumlish. In casting Souter, we went for another guy who's late, uh, Bertie Scott, uh, whom we'd previously worked with on a film called The Caledonian Count, which had Thomas Telford and Walter Scott sailing down the Caledonian Canal, arguing the toss about uh, development versus tradition. And having worked with Bertie, we knew he had exactly the right qualities of uh, kind of stillness and reflectiveness that we felt was right for, for Souter. Um, other, another bit of casting which is very important was that of uh, Harry Stamper. Remarkable Harry. Um, his masterly impersonation of, uh, of Hugh McDermott is really quite uh, uh, one of the things that makes the film. Uh, and as the, the one that kind of has, tends to be focused, that part of the film tends to be focused on by critics like Alan Reich. But uh, on the balancing McDermott as being in Souter's left, to his right is his old school friend, a lifelong friend, the painter uh, Jim Finlayson. Uh, and I like to think that Brian and I got more kind of humanity out of the, the Souter Finlayson relationship to balance that of uh, Souter with McDermott, which was highly kind of uh, intellectual, you know. Uh, I guess the other thing I'd like to say in introducing this is that uh, I myself am from Perth. Uh, my father worked with uh, Souter, he was a joiner with, with, Souter's, uh, with, with Souter's father. Uh, and um, I therefore felt that I should bring in one or two things personally to it. One of them is uh, the story about California because that was on, on Brooklyn Bridge and tossing a coin and coming back to, to Perth. That was actually my father did that. Uh, so I put that in the film, you know, because otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been here. Yeah. 1977, when we made the film, was of course the run-up to the very first devolution referendum. Uh, and if you like, it was uh, Brian and I making our contribution to it through, through the film. And it's, it's great that uh, 40 odd years later, with a, a, the same debate going on at a much uh, higher and really more confident level, that the film has been picked up again by people like Alan Reich. Apart from anything else, and I do hope you enjoy this, there is a very good helping of poems by, by William Souter, which Bertie, uh, Bertie Scott, I think, read really rather well. <laughs>